Hello everyone. Welcome back to my wildlife allotment plot. I've had this plot for about a year and a half now. October 2020, I took this plot on. And uh, I'm gonna show you some before and after photos and videos today. Just really to show what a difference you can make to one allotment plot really. If you put your mind to it and you get cracking and you do a little bit each day. I'm sitting here in front of my teasels, which I planted a year ago, over a year ago actually, and I hope we'll get some teasels out of them this summer and they'll make nice feeding stations for the birds in the autumn and winter. Also sitting alongside my dry stone wall here, which is made using concrete blocks and bits of cement that I found strewn across this plot uh, since I started working on it really. So let's get started and I'll take you around the plot, showing you some before and after photos and videos. So we're at the top of the green grassy bank and I'm gonna show you a video now while I'm talking of what this plot looked like from up here about two days after I started work on it. And uh, it's gonna sweep round and show you that the whole plot was covered in rubbish, brambles. You couldn't see anything. So I quite like that as a starting point. Now I'm going to bring you forward a year and a half to where we are now. It's the end of April. I'm going to do the same shot. There's my wildlife pond. My two retaining walls just in front of us at the bottom of the bank. And all the growing beds I've cultivated. And the trees I've planted. Completely different to where it was a year and a half ago. So here's my dry stone wall from the bottom of the green grassy bank. All of these stone blocks or concrete blocks and bricks were found all the way across my allotment plot. I knew what I wanted to do with them when I realized there were so many and that was to make a dry stone wall all the way up this bottom of this bank. So that's what I've done dry stone wall and created extra growing space. When I run out of concrete, I use fallen logs and trees. So I'm going to show you some video footage of what the plot was like shortly after I got it. And if you look back on my playlist for creating a new allotment or starting a new allotment, you'll find the very first video there. But uh, I'm going to show you now the first video of when I came to the plot, what it was like and all the brambles that were there. I couldn't even get onto the plot. Now here we are, a year and a half later, April 2022. What a difference, what a transformation. I can see down the pathway I've created right to the end where my compost bay is. I can see through this area here. You'll have to kind of imagine it without these cane structures, which are for my climbing beans and scarlet emperor beans. And you probably know as you're a regular visitor to my plot that I want to make this like a forest garden wildlife allotment plot where I've got lots of perennial things growing. So that's where we are today after a year and a half's work. Now, if you look, if you think back to a year and a half ago, I couldn't even get into this plot here. Now I've got my raised terrace bed. I'll try and put up a little video clip now when it was new. My pathway in here. And I've got lots of foxgloves growing on the top terrace, as well as my hornbeam hedging, which is starting to develop. So where I'm standing now was uh, 
I've got some video footage of that a year and a half ago. And there was an old sort of tool chest storage container there. I'll try and show you a clip of that now. And uh, I couldn't even walk through this area. And now a year and a half later, I've created my dry stone wall. I've got my retaining bed and I'm growing garlic on top of there, extra growing space. I created a pathway all the way up to the back of the plot. And of course I've widened my plot to create some areas where I can cultivate vegetables. Well, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, folks. A little before and after sequence. If you want to watch all my videos on starting a new allotment, I've got a playlist called Starting a New Allotment, believe it or not, which was inspired by Terry King's series of videos over a year and a half ago when he started a new allotment. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. I'll be making more soon. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. And I hope it's inspired you to start your own allotment if you can get on a waiting list. If not, your own small corner of your world. Wherever that may be. Thanks guys.